Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another my career video uh, today's video it's basically just like an update video and basically really getting ready to uh, start my career so um, I was injured if you guys didn't know and I missed a lengthy time of um, footy I basically missed the entire Vic Country Championship um, so I didn't really want to play the, the rest of the Vic Country Championship considering I missed I reckon around 10 games um, so we will be getting into the final game of the season today I'll be simulating to the final game um, we're going to try and get out of the under-18s. We're going to see what pick we go. I just don't want to uh, get a, another injury that's going to basically put us out for even longer because we have had a lot of injuries this season. And uh, our main goal here is to get to the AFL and become a superstar. So let's get into today's video. Let's get into what is happening. Like I said, we're going to be playing the last game of the season. Um, we'll be playing against the Geelong Falcons. I'm just going to simulate and show you guys. We're only six games off the end of the season anyway. So it wasn't like we're missing too much. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that our Vic Country team um, will be... Uh, Vic Metro, sorry. Um, we'll be finishing on top of the standings this year, I'm pretty sure. I think we finished on top. So I'm, I think we did basically win it, um, which is good. But like I said, we're trying to get to the AFL. We don't want any more injuries. I just want to simulate because I was injured through, um, I, I think it was like the last six weeks. Um, I'll just show you the ladder and how everything stands in our NAB under-18 league. We're currently uh, sitting sixth. We're seven and four. We've had a draw as well. Um, I'm leading the disposal count um, in the league. I think I've got like 200 disposals for the season. But we'll be taking on the Geelong Falcons in today's video. The final game of the season. It's a cracker, so make sure you stick around and as we get ready uh, to prepare for the finals and then the draft and all that good stuff. So some exciting videos coming along. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Um, I'm enjoying making these videos. I'm enjoying getting everything out. But like I said... We're trying to get to the AFL. We're trying to get there and make a name for ourselves. So we're finished. We're currently sixth at the minute. Um, like I said, Geelong Falcons. I think last time we played them was a pretty tight game, um, pretty close game. So I am expecting another very tight game. I just wanted to show you the stats. Um, so this gives you some indication for the Stingrays. I've got 208 disposals. I'm 100, almost 100 disposals ahead of the next best. Um, 18 years old. I just wanted to give you an update of my rating. 68 at the moment. Um, as we move into our final game of the season. So I haven't really played all the games because I've been injured and it's been tough because every single time we get onto like a roll, it feels like I get injured. Um, I just hope it doesn't affect our draft um, stock or anything like that because that'd be pretty annoying if we got to the AFL and we didn't get picked just because um, we're injured. So let's get into today's game, the Geelong Falcons taking um, on the Dandy Nong Stingrays at beautiful Ballarat Mars Stadium. So like I said earlier, um, with this being the last game of the season... Um, you definitely want to show out. You definitely want to come out and play well. Um, I was just going to try and rack up as many disposals as I could. I think in my last big country game, I had like 35 disposals or something like that. So hopefully I've done enough to um, get a high round draft pick as you see us come out for the final time before the final start. I think the finals will be really good. Um, hopefully we can go close to winning the whole thing because I do believe we're one of the best teams. I think we were like 6-0 and at one stage and once I got injured, then things started to turn. Um, pretty bad for us, but Geelong Falcons, last time we played them, it was a pretty tight game. Um, I think we only just got over the line um, in that in that one, but I do genuinely believe that we are the best team in the competition. Um, Geelong Falcons are really good. I'm not too sure if they're actually in the, um, the finals race, but let's get this game highlights underway. Our last highlights of the season. You see here running into an open goal. I tried to get cute with it. The wind takes it and it goes through and hits the post. I could not believe that. Um, yeah, just comment down below, guys, if you enjoyed the, the under-18s, um, NAB, under-18s, under NAB League. If you, have you guys actually enjoyed it? Um, do you want, did you want to see more videos? Um, but I'm racking up the disposals here. I get smashed in the tackle. I feel like every single time I get tackled, I always just look up and just see if I'm not injured or anything like that. I am really, really worried that I'm going to get injured. But, um, you see here, I turn inside, kick on the right, get smashed again, high tackle. Thank God, I get the free kick there. I was uh, I was worrying that we weren't going to get the rewarded the free kick. Um, but I definitely will be looking to um, increase my players' ratings as we move into the AFL. Um, comment down below. Let's do like a let's do like a, a competition. What pick do you reckon I will go? Um, I'm definitely I sh definitely should be up there for like with a high pick. Um, I I don't believe that I'm going to get picked really, really low, but my injuries may change that. My, my, my injuries 
um, may actually play a part in that. As you see here, I get... I feel like I'm getting smashed every single time I get the ball. This was a very, very tight game. Um, the scores are 8-1 to one at this stage, um, or in the first quarter. It's very, very tough to score against this Geelong Falcons team. I remember last time we played Geelong Falcons, it was very, very tight. Um, we struggled to get off the board. I got hammered again. I need to really stop getting hammered. I need to get rid of the ball a bit quicker. I need to be a little bit smarter. But at the end of the quarter, we lead by 8 points. Um, in this game, you can see that I did rack up a lot of disposals in that quarter. I'm not too sure what I actually had. I can't really remember, but I think I might do for, if we do make the NAB AFL League Grand Final, I might do like a live stream, but 1-3-9 to 1 behind. Let's move into the second quarter. Running back with the flight, take a very strong mark. Um, so I missed, I think, five games with a, it was like something, I did something to my back, and then I missed um, two games for something to do with my ankle. I think I sprained my ankle in the Vic Country game. I think that was... That was like one of the reasons, um, well, something like happened there where I sprained my ankle. But uh, in the back pocket here, it's a very, very, oh, look at this camera angle. It's a very um, low scoring affair at this point. I turned the ball over. Geelong Falcons, even though they didn't kick a goal, they were like just owning the play, I felt like, in this game. Um, I love the fact in AFL Evo 2, the lighting changes. So we're moving into Twilight, as you guys will see in the later videos. Um, I really, really like that ad. We're in the second quarter here. Um, running back with the flight again. I just want my guy does a, does a lot. It's only four to nine, so it kind of is like a local football game if you if you want to be technical about it and all that kind of stuff. But um, we're closing in on half time here. Um, you can see the the ball racing away, uh, Mark. I I feel like um, as my rating's going to go up, I'm going to be able to get. I'm going to be able, my stats are going to go crazy. I'm going to get monster stats. If I actually no idea what I was doing there, I don't know why I didn't handball. But at half time, we lead by five points. Not a lot happened in that quarter. This isn't the most exciting game, um, but I just wanted to show off and just show you guys the final game of the season. So four behinds for the Falcons. Uh, we're one three nine. Seven inside fifties to seven inside fifties at half time. Um, Seventeen disposals for Tommy Green. So he is getting around the ground with one goal next to his name. So Tommy Green is getting around the ground. He is scoring. Um, he's kicked out. He's kicked our only goal. Had a chance here to actually... I should have went back and had a shot. I don't know why I did this. I give it to my uh, to my teammate, and he just kicks it straight through the points. So, <laughs> I don't really know what, what, what to do there. You can see me turning around. Did not get any purchase on that kick. I definitely need to put my kicking up. So we move on to the third here. I actually um, almost get tackled, so I just got rid of it. I don't know why I kicked it straight up in the air. Uh, but I really like this feature. Look at this play here. This would have been a really, really nice play if this actually worked. Handball over, handball over the top. And I just wanted him to keep running. If I was quick enough, I would have ran straight past him for the handball. I think he tried to bring the ball back. As you can see, the ball did come back very, very late. But fourth quarter here. So I actually got simmed out of that um, of the third. So we're in the fourth here. Um, I'm closing in on 30 touches. I take a mark in the pocket. Um, look at this beautiful uh, twilight footy as I'm on the right-hand side here. Very, very tough angle. I think I put it a little bit too to the right. As you can see, the wind takes a while for it to work back. And it just misses to the right-hand side. Pretty disappointing there, but we get another opportunity here right in front of goal. No one is manning me up. I'm not too sure why. I've got about 30 touches to this point. Um, I am absolutely killing it. Hopefully, I can get that number one draft pick. Let's pray and pray and pray that we get it. But I line up here. The win. Look at the win. Take that. That is a goal, though. We'll take it. So I kick my second of the game. Gives us the lead in the last... Uh, 28, 29 just touches at this stage. I uh, So I got taken out again of this game. Um, I'm not too sure if I came back. I think I might have come back in this game. Um, yeah, we, so we came back for, I reckon it was like five minutes as you see me take a mark. A nice little mark here um, in congestion. So I did come back for, I think it was like maybe three, four minutes as I'm like trying to run up the wing here. I get simmed out again. But we end up do holding on. So that is the end of the NAB under-18 league uh, regular season. We get the win against the Geelong Falcons, a very tough team who I definitely think will be in the playoff race. I need to actually see. So 314 to 316, very, very inaccurate. But 31 disposals for Tommy, two goals. What a, what a, what a way to finish off um, a great, great season. What a way to go into the finals. As I'll show you our finals bracket as we get ready. Um, we're taking on the Stingrays, so we oh, we're taking on the Power. So we finished third. We ended up finishing third. Um, you can see the wild cards. I'm not too sure what that's about. I think the two, I think teams just play each other for them. But we finished second, so we'll play the Power, and the winner of that goes straight to the prelim. Let's hope we can get that job done. So these are the teams: Falcons seventh, Devils sixth. Who the Devils actually beat us? They they smashed us. Um, the Chargers, the Pioneers, the Rebels, the the Cannons, and their game's actually already been played, and the Rebels actually got the win. So, hope you guys enjoy the series so far. The finals are up next. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as we get ready for uh, a big, big finals tilt before, um, before the AFL draft. I'll see you on the next one.